Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Learn Smart Coding. This is Karthik. Thanks for joining with me today. So in this video, what I'm going to cover is how to add the authentication and authorization part in your Angular application. The concept that I'm going to use is very popular one and very secured one, which is Azure Active Directory Business to Consumer. In short form, we will call it as Azure AD B2C. So we will go through the Azure AD B2C concepts and we will also see how to do the app registration and configure these things in your web API and the Angular application. So now it's time to learn, understand what is Azure AD B2C. Okay, so this is part one and I'm going to go through Azure AD B2C concepts. Okay, so what is Azure AD B2C? AD stands for Active Directory. So sometimes we will abbreviate this as AD going forward and B2C business to consumers. In the cloud world, be it AWS, Azure, Google, or name it any cloud provider, you will mostly hear something called as a service, like infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, all these things, right? So basically infrastructure as a service means when provider, the cloud provider provides the basic building blocks like storage, virtual machine, then we will call it as infrastructure as a service. And you will also call it as platform as a service when the cloud provider abstracts the infrastructure and you build apps on a pre-configured platform. Similarly, Azure AD B2C follows on the same pattern. It's an identity as a service, meaning Azure, host, Azure will host all the necessary components for you to build application that allows user to sign up and log in. Okay, so let's understand that. But you don't need to worry about these things. Whatever happens behind the scene, it's Azure responsibility, Microsoft responsibility, okay, or the cloud provider responsibility. We will focus only on the consumer application. So when you hear the term Active Directory, you normally think sometime like, okay, Active Directory means it's enterprise applications. Only for the people who work for a company can log in. Azure AD B2C allows you to build apps for consumers. It's still an Active Directory user storage where your application can access attributes like name, address, you know, phone number, street address and so on. But it's aimed at the consumer application. So unlike the enterprise application where you know who are the users for your application. In this case, we will not know who will be our user. Okay, so if you consider my app, we don't know who's going to log in. It could be any person in the world can log in, right? So Azure AD B2C lets users sign up, sign in to your application with either a username or password that they create and that is stored as a local account or they can actually sign in with the social accounts like Twitter, Google, Facebook and so many other uh, famous uh, social networks. Okay, so B2C also allows you provide the custom branding. So the login experience that you saw right now was the inbuilt branding. You can actually customize that. So Azure AD B2C is developed in industrial standard wise such as OpenID, OAuth and SAML. Okay, so they could create a regular username password or they could use their Google login if you allow it, like you have to configure it. So we will also see that in our uh, complete course. Regardless of which way the user decides to log in to your application, behind the scene, they will all have the same type of account and the backing Azure Active Directory is nothing but the user store. This provides the ultimate flexibility for you as well as for the users. Giving you even more flexibility is that you can actually customize the login experience for your users. Not only you can control the branding that these uh, users can see, but you can also control what attributes they can enter. Like the street address, name, display name, given name, surname, blah, blah. So many things. You can actually customize all those things. And Azure AD B2C is perfect to be used with web APIs, mobiles, and mobile apps. And what else Azure AD B2C provides? It also provides multi-factor authentication, or also called as MFA, and also integration with other third-party identification proofing companies. So both of these make sure your users have their accounts secured. So there's a strong logging and auditing available in B2C. You can see who's logging in and what is going on, and you can also track down 
you know if there is an issue happening for a particular customer actually you can drop down so those auditing and logging will help us what is going to work with this azure ad b2c so the server based applications like dotnet php ruby or the node all these things uses the open id connect for all the user experience with the app initiating the login flow single page application works as well because our demo itself is for spa application which is angular so that will work for that as well mobile application works wonderfully with b2c so these application initiate a flow and integrate with the oauth2 authorization code flow and of course you can secure your web services and api with b2c so they use oauth2 to authenticate the incoming http request using tokens and it extracts info about the calling user from the claims inside the token like we saw how to decrypt the token and see what information is present so those are the things right and there are some applications which will not work with azure adb to say okay so any application that is a long running application without a user interface those don't work with b2c okay uh, it's or a web api chain one api calling another api or web service calling another web service all those things will not work with adb to see so with this information come let's get into the action thanks for watching if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel like it share it comment it and never forget to click on the bell icon